Hello guys, you're welcome to TK Oba TV. If today is the first time you are seeing my videos, I say welcome. On TK Oba TV, we post Christian news and celebrations. Welcome to the family. To my returning subscribers, I say thank you very much. You're the real MVP. Please click on the subscribe button and hit on the notification bell to be notified whenever I post any new video. And also give me a like now or at the end if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. When I was um, in, most times when they record their song, sometimes, you know, most of will be like, okay, we, everybody write a verse for this song. But because yeah. it's not my kind of thing, so I don't push for it. So Before we continue to watch and watch the full video, let me give you a backstory. Moses Bliss and Eboka song were together in the Spotlight Nation, which was Moses Bliss record label, and they did many great things together. But of recent, we, uh, people observed that they were no longer seeing them together. And it was a rumor until... Ebuka's song granted an interview where he confirmed the story. All right, he said some, he said one or two things in the video, and this was what made me go to their social media pages to bring out these videos <laughs> that they did that. together. I say unto you, <laughs> get yourself <laughs> for what is coming is rivers that will, that will never run dry. Ah, yeah. One of the reasons why I brought it was because of one or two things that he said in the video. But as you can see in this video, they are vibing together, they are happy together, and it seems as though Ebuka's song was one of his favorites. Also, remember the other time that Moses Bliss gifted Ebuka's song his first car? This portrays the fact that they were doing really well together and Ebuka was putting in his best. Also, in the second video, as you can see, that he was really dancing, vibing, and giving choreography to this song. And the lyrics of the song is also top-notch. Do you understand the reason why I said this when you finish watching the video? If you have not subscribed, please subscribe now. If you have not liked, please like now. Let's watch the video. I need to see those things that mm. God told me over the years coming to reality. Mm. I would never have imagined that my life would be what it is now. Trust me. I just used to be in my room and believe and have faith that one day, the world we hear this voice mm. which is happening now. and i was dressed my dad said i hope you're not going to do that conductor <laughs> again you know that kind of thing mm. so i had to look for something else to do i was washing car i got a car wash and um, where i was washing car mm. you no know, it was all a lot of great things that mm. we did yes i call it great thing because those were the things that made us what we are today mm. they strengthened our faith they made me know understand value of people today when i see people in that situation I can just relate. I tell them, bro, be encouraged because you will definitely come out strong. Mm, yes. Um, yes. One of the now, people God also used to support my ministry. Mm. And I'm just grateful to God for coming across with him, you know. He played a, 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 a beautiful role in my life too. Mm. You know, there are people God will just send to your life to just support your assignment. Yeah, so, but currently now, um, I'm on the face of focusing on my assignment. You know, this is another season for my life. There's a transition already because we are moving from nation to nation. So I'm very busy now. Seems like everybody has their assignment mm -hmm. and it's becoming clearer by the day. The more I keep going, the more it's becoming clearer. Mm -hmm. and so it's obvious people can see that all I'm doing now is ministry. I'm going here, going there. So that's just basically mm -hmm. what it is right now for me. So. I'm, I'm currently on the on the chase of ministry mm. so people don't really see me all around uh, you know that's that's just it i'm just mm. busy with god's assignment for my life. Mm. so it doesn't mean that for what we are hearing because personally i had gone onto your uh social media platform that is respect to ig where i got to see that you deleted some pictures uh some pictures as well and uh so i'm wanting to find out because i know you also signed on to uh, yeah, moses uh that's record true. label because when i was um in most times when they record their song sometimes you know most of will be like okay everybody write a verse for this song but because yeah. it's not my kind of thing so i don't push for it so that's why we have most times where they have some of the songs that everybody's in i'm not i'm not in i try to do one one of the songs they did um that i'm on the song it was very awkward mm. me on the songs so um one of the one of, one of my standpoint in life is sticking with god whether good or bad mm. yeah so many people follow god because of what they want to get so there's there's a standpoint as a believer first mm. where you stand to say god whether i have or not, i don't have whether it's good 
or it's not good i am still with you god wants to see believers who can stand that way and that's where i stand with god mm. so before i came into this frame and all of these things my stand with god has been even if you don't give me i know you've said a lot of things about my life you'll be great even if i don't see those things come i'm still going to be your son i'm still going to be that boy you know i'm still going to love you mm -hmm. i'm still going to follow you so one of my secrets is sticking with god the bible says seek for the kingdom of god and every other thing shall be added and that's why a lot of people see now that what i'm doing now is ministry mm -hmm. kingdom business i am more of the kingdom business than what any other thing anybody can talk about anything mm -hmm. that's going to take me off the kingdom business i run very far from it so um, my standpoint has been the kingdom anything that is the kingdom that's where you see me in so and also my fellowship with the with the holy spirit you know one of the things that has helped me through the seasons of my life mm -hmm. is my relationship with the holy spirit i've not been able to to come out of any situation without the help of the holy spirit every time it gets difficult every time it gets rosary every time it gets you know the storms are blowing and everything it's the holy spirit mm -hmm. so without the help of the holy spirit you might make so many mistakes we make mistakes in life though that's one thing i've also learned but the Holy Spirit will help you, even in the mistake. The Bible says all things work together for their good to them that loves the Lord. Mm. So even when you are not on track, God just has a way of putting you, making that mistake you made, mm. made it look like it was part of, part of the picture. Yes, it wasn't part before, but God just made it look like it was part of the picture. That's God for you. Mm. So I've, I've been standing only by God's mercy, by His grace everything that i am today is still on the mm. mercy of god and a great a grateful heart mm. just like you said i'm somebody who is big on appreciation gratitude no matter what it is no matter who it is and no matter how it comes i'm just grateful to god mm. the same gratitude i have for big things mm. is the same gratitude i have for small, small things. things so everything is equal before uh, you know the eyes of the lord that's mm. how i see it so i appreciate everything the same way so one of the things I'll say to these people is um, kill the desire to be desperate. Desperation, desperation is going to be the first thing that will come alongside. Mm -hmm. um, as a youth, one of the things that we are carried away is our youthful exuberance. Mm. So sometimes we exchange youthful exuberance to be passion. Mm. Youthful exuberance is not passion. It's one nature that is part of the youth. We, we all had it when we were young. I had it. But one of the things I was able to do was to be able to differentiate my passion from the exuberance or the, you know, the, rather pressure. So because one, one of the things you for exuberance will do is it will kick you off God's timing. Mm. It will, it will make you, it will put you in a hurry. It will put you on unnecessary pressure. So you need to be able to differentiate your passion from youth for exuberance and then stick closely with God. Like I said before, mm. as a young art or whatever it is you're doing, where the space you are now is the biggest space of your life because you have opportunity to do a lot of things where you are. Because you will get to a point where you become now too busy. Mm. There are some things you cannot no longer do. There are some fun you cannot no longer have. There are some people you cannot. There are just some places you can no longer go to. As you have heard in the video, the book of song attests to the fact that God has used Moses' bliss in his life mightily. So in my opinion, if Ebuka Song has had the voice of the Lord to move on, I think he has done the right thing and he should desist from answering such questions in the public because people can misconstrue it. What he said might not be exactly what he meant. He's talking about their style of song, as you have seen in the two videos, it doesn't look as if he was feeling any awkward when he was dancing and vibing to any of those songs. And Moses Bliss songs too are not worldly songs, if you ask me. The lyrics are okay. So if they are not in the same line of music, or if God, the God, if God is telling him to move forward, then it's not a bad idea i wish both of them good luck in their endeavors and if they have any grudge against each other it would be a very good thing for them to clear it the fact that they are not together does not mean that they should not cohabit peacefully thank you very much for staying with me to this time if you have not liked this video please do and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more thank you